Andrew here with another episode of All In With Bullpin. And today I am pleased to be joined by Ranjit Patel, who is our segment director for the vaccines and gene therapy uh, businesses. So Ranjit, welcome and thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, now I've got a very specific question here and it's around a collaboration where we're working with Texas Children's Hospital and the Baylor School of Medicine on trying to develop a vaccine for schistosomiasis. Now, um, we know that within schisto, it's a cause which is near and dear yeah. to our hearts, praziquantil, a drug that's used to treat it, but now we're looking at a vaccine to basically prevent it. Tell me a little bit more about this collaboration and how we started with it and the progress that we've made. Absolutely, and this is really one of those prime examples of how this collaboration between vaccine developers and technology providers can accelerate development of vaccines. So there is a big difference between identifying a vaccine candidate and actually manufacturing it at a commercial scale that is viable, especially when it comes to our populations in emerging and developing economies where cost is of essence. So in this particular case for uh, schistosomiasis vaccine, uh, the story begins with our involvement uh, with treatment of schistosomiasis. So we as a company have been donating praziquantel tablets, which are one of the primary ways of treating this disease. However, this treatment does not completely cure the disease. Um, this is a parasitic worm that causes this disease. So quite often people who are treated can contract the disease again. Yeah. So uh, Dr. Peter Hotez, who currently works at uh, Texas Children's Hospital um, at uh, Baylor College, he uh, has identified a vaccine candidate that can be expressed in E. coli and can actually provide immunity against this worm. So potentially providing sort of a lifetime protection and end the cycle of reinfection from this worm because it does propagate from water sources. However, their current process uh, or the previous process was very inefficient. That process has had very low yields, that process had a large footprint, and most importantly, it wasn't GMP ready. So this collaboration started with our uh, technology team working with them directly, and we identified three main areas. We identified clarification step uh, as an area where we needed to improve yield. We identified chromatography step where impurity clearance needed to be worked upon, and formulation where simply the current choice of formulation uh, or the formulation ingredients wasn't compatible with that being scaled up to GMP manufacturing. So since then, we have been able to tackle the downstream aspects of the project. Uh, we have been able to improve the yield from 34% to almost more than 90% for their clarification operation. And we also have identified an alternative to their formulation, which is more GMP compatible. And this relationship does go beyond just the technology. We are also actively participating with them and trying to develop uh, economic analysis of what it would mean to produce this vaccine at a larger scale and what different avenues uh, this team can explore in terms of actually commercializing this vaccine and getting it to the patients. Cool, really exciting. And when you think about our long-standing relationship with this problem, then uh, definitely a step forward. Absolutely. Final question for you, sir. Yes. So why are you so passionate about vaccine manufacturing? So I think vaccines are one of those fascinating modalities uh, that exist. And honestly, it's quite underrated. Uh, it is the most complex uh, biopharmaceutical that one can get. It's the most widely available biopharmaceutical that one can have. And honestly, in terms of cost, it is expected to be the cheapest biopharmaceutical one can access. So it's a combination of all of these factors which makes it a very interesting technical challenge. Personally, for me, I did grow up in India and uh, I have seen the difference vaccines can make in terms of lives of millions of people. So in terms of sustainable healthcare approach to emerging economies, vaccines are the forefront of it. And that makes me more passionate about vaccines and vaccine development. Clear. Ranjit, thank you ever so much for joining me today for this episode of All In With Bullpin. And to our viewers out there, we'll see you next time for our next episode on a key biopharma biologics topic. Thank you for joining us. Bye now.